Welcome back to Cactical Man, guys. Alright guys, just wanted to do a quick little video for you. Uh, I went to the gun store the other day, wasn't looking for anything in particular. I uh, was just going around the gun store, looking at everything, you know, AKs, ARs, pistols, uh, you know, what have you. And uh, the AK selection was horrible. Uh, and this is a major, major gun store that has lots and lots of brands, and all they had was IOs. IOs for 700 bucks. What? That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm surprised those things are still on the shelves, whatever. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed in that. I was looking for an AK, whatever. Not not really looking for an AK, but it would have been cool uh, if they had something, you know, I probably would have walked out of the store with it. Uh, then I went over to the pistols, looked at all that, yada, 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 you know. To me, a pistol is a pistol. Honestly, I'm more of a rifleman than a, than a, than a pistolman, if that's a term. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I went over to the ARs, and, you know, they got all the fancy stuff all along the walls. Fancy, 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 schmancy, fancy, schmancy. And, uh, you know, I decided, you know what, let me take a look at all the entry-level ARs they have. Let's see what's on the market nowadays, because I have not been looking at them. And, uh, you know, the Smith & Wesson MP Sport 2, I saw that. Uh, a couple of others. Uh, Ruger... AR556 or something like that. I don't remember the exact model. You guys know that stuff more than I do because I'm not out there all the time looking at them. And uh, I held this one. He's like, dude, if you're looking for a uh, entry level AR, this is probably the one for you. And I picked it up. Never, I've never heard of this rifle before, guys. I guess I've been living under a rock, right? Uh, never heard anything about this rifle before, never knew it even existed, and I picked it up, and just looking at the build quality, what it comes with, uh, the features of it, for entry level, I said, holy shit, that's a good deal, <laughs> you know, straight up, that's a good deal, and I went ahead and I, I bought it, so let me just go ahead and show you, and when you guys see what it is, you're gonna be like, yeah, dude, you've been living under a rock. All right, here you go. The Springfield Armory Saint. AR, that's what I got. Never once had I seen any of this ridiculous advertising uh, about the, the Saint and what everybody's, you know, talking about and how it was a letdown that Springfield went into ARs and all that. Never once did I see any of that. Never once have I seen any mention of that. I don't know what rock I'm living under. Uh, you know, I get American Rifleman magazine. I've, I've never saw it in there. Never saw any of it on YouTube. Never heard anybody talking about it. I don't know how I missed it because as soon as I got home and I started looking up this rifle, it's all over the place. And so I want everyone to know I did not buy this rifle because of the st stupid ass advertising agenda platform whatever the hell you want to call it they ran on this on this rifle uh i bought this rifle 100 percent for the fact that when i picked it up and i saw what you got on a entry level price point i said that's that's a no damn brainer i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get it okay disclaimer guys i have not shot the rifle yet i have not shot her yet okay uh, work's been extremely busy. I'm putting on about another hour and a half a day at work, so that kind of cuts away time. Family's a little bit more important than going to the range, uh, but I will be getting out this weekend, uh, zeroing the rifle, zeroing it with its nice little, uh, with the flip up sight, and I got the uh, primary arms advanced micro dot on there. I'm gonna get that zeroed into this rifle as well. Uh, it was zeroed in last on my Daniel Defense, so it's definitely not gonna be the same on here. Uh, Dudes, but the, the the features on this rifle, you know, with the BCM uh, buttstock pistol grip, I love this angle. You can keep the uh, you can keep it in there real nice and tight, fully collapsed. I can get on it, right? Fully collapsed, I can get on it. Uh, I love that pistol grip. Uh, nice rear sight, you know. As it, this rear sight to me is better than the MBUS uh, or the Magpul MBUS plastic one that comes on the Smith and Wesson MP Sport and Sport Two. Some people might say 
they like that one better but this is to me i like this one uh you know the handguard key mod handguard at first in the store i was like what well, dude key mod on plastic but if you look closely it is backed you guys already know it's backed up by a uh, metal reinforcement in there so we'll see how that goes i'm not really gonna put too much on this i wanted a nice uh a nice entry level ar to beat the shit out of and have fun I uh, got a nice government profile barrel with the 556 five, chamber, one and eight twist, and that's another thing that kind of sold me. Is you know I've, I got one and nine and one and seven. I wanna I wanna dabble into one and eight a little bit, and for the price point, to me it's a no brainer. It's a it's a pretty good package, guys. If she works, we'll find that out this weekend when we go to the range, and you know I'll zero her in and uh, just. Get an initial impression, and I'll come back and let you guys know my initial impression. And uh, I will be tracking the round count heavily on this one. Uh, sorry for you Daniel Defense lovers out there. She's going to be sitting in the safe, and this one's going to be uh, my, my main range focus. Again, guys, I have not shot it, so I cannot attest to its functionality and reliability. Uh, but for the price point, I keep saying the price point, guys. The, the MSRP is $899. I picked this booger up for uh, I think it was a buck twenty under MSRP, so that to me is entry level. Uh, great, great looking AR, great specs. Stay tuned for the range trip.